Hey, ASC learners, it's time to talk about body language. And that's because speaking English takes more than just your mouth and your ears. In fact, it takes your entire body. So loosen up, do some stretches, and get ready, because it's time to move that body. Today we're going to focus on open and closed body language. Right now, my body is open. My arms are up and out, I'm relaxed and I'm comfortable, but I can close my body language by crossing my arms. This creates a barrier between me and you. So that's closed body language. Often, when women are nervous or uncomfortable, we will cross our arms. It's a protective thing, and this is closed body language. We want to be open to the audience, okay? Now men, they don't always cross their arms. Sometimes they do, but men also like to put their hands in their pockets. So if you see men with their hands in their pockets, this is also a sign of closed body language because your palms are not up and you're not out to your audience. Let's look at a few examples of open and closed body language. We'll start at a job interview. So Lauren, tell me about yourself. Well, I am really open and friendly and I am confident in my abilities to contribute to the team. As you can see, I was smiling and friendly in this scene, but my body language was closed and that made me seem like I was maybe uncomfortable or nervous. You can't just be open and friendly with your words and your face. You must also be open and friendly with your body. Now let's look at an example of me doing an interview again, but this time with open body language. So Lauren, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm really open and friendly and I'm confident in my abilities to contribute to the team. Now that looks like a person who is truly open and friendly. Remember, you can be relaxed and professional. People want to hire someone they think they'll enjoy working with. So if you're open and friendly, you'll appear confident even if you're nervous. Next, we'll compare open and closed body language while working with your classmates on a group project. I think we should start with like a literature review. I think Professor Mayendo You can see that I'm participating in the group project. I'm listening and talking, but I don't really look like I'm connecting with my group because of my closed body language. That sounds right. So, Let's watch this scene again, but this time I'm going to show you with open body language. No one wants us to do a literature review first. Yeah, that okay. sounds good. Now I seem more connected to my group. In this scene, my arm is not acting as a barricade. I'm open and I'm also leaning forward towards my group. This will make my group members feel more comfortable asking me questions and involving me in the discussion. So, you can also use this type of body language when you are hanging out with your friends or on a date. For our final example, I'm going to give a formal presentation to a group of people. Hey everyone, I'm Lauren and today I'm going to present for you my final presentation for English class. So, um, everyone has a dream when they are little and my dream was to be a princess or to be like Barbie, um, who had many different careers, because Barbie is just that awesome. In that example, you could see that I was pretty nervous. I was playing with my shirt, I was twisting, I had my hands behind my back, um, so I was not very open and confident in that one. Let's watch again as I give a presentation with open and confident body language. Hey everyone, I'm Lauren and today I'm going to give you my final presentation for English class. So, everyone has a dream when they're little, right? I wanted to be a princess, or like Barbie, who is a multiple career woman. I mean, who doesn't want to be like Barbie, right? Alright, now that was great open body language. My feet were planted, my palms were open. These things show confidence, and people want to listen to a confident person. So if you have any questions about open or closed body language, just leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. That's all for today. See you next time.